Thank you, Mr. Morning. McGinty. I appreciate your testimony here today before the Justice Committee, and I also appreciate your opening statement. It's somewhat of a, of a mea culpa, and it is the first time uh, in my time in this legislature, in 18 months, that I've heard you say that you were wrong, that your government was wrong in citing uh, the plants where they were, that your government was wrong in its lack of consultation with the community, uh, that it was wrong in canceling those plants without due diligence, without knowing even an estimate, even a ballpark figure of the costs of what it was going to cost taxpayers in the province. And you were also wrong in not listening to opposition members from the outset when they had identified quite easily and quite clearly that the plants were sited in the wrong area. I want to know if you think that proroguing the legislature in the timeline that you did for the reasons that you did as we were ultimately getting close to initiating uh, committee hearings we were trying to look into the numbers and the documents trying to get documents related to the cancellation of the Oakville and Mississauga gas plants you shut down this legislature quite cynically do you think that was wrong to do I can't agree with everything you've said, but let just, me just the last let, part. This, I no, want to know if yeah, you let me, think the let, last part yeah, was wrong. And I, and I can't agree with that. Um, do you think it was right uh, then? Yeah. You do? Yeah. It was appropriate in, in my judgment. And I, <clears throat> and I say so on the basis of 23 years, ex, 23 years experience as, as a legislator and bringing that perspective as to the level of rancor and dysfunction that characterized the legislature. Well, I, 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 I disagree. I, I don't I actually, I that. came to the legislature with, with all good intentions and good faith to get down to the bottom of the issues that this province faced. And uh, you characterizing uh, the opposition party's uh, need to get those questions answered as rancor. Uh, and dysfunction, you know, is an affront to actually the, there was the, the democratic process in this legislature. And now we are at a point. Can, once again, I would invite you to allow the witness to answer, please. Uh, now, well, I'm going to move on to my second question. We're at a point now where we are starting to get answers because of the formation of this committee post prorogation. We're getting some answers, as you had already stated earlier, that you know we are now well versed in the in the circumstances. Um, yet. You know, you, 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 you canceled Mississauga without knowing the cost. You just had a huge amount of risk and exposure in Oakville the year before. Had you learned anything from that process? Did you know that this was ultimately Mississauga was going to cost uh, an enormous amount? And did you boldly go ahead with that regardless of the cost? Just to return to the issue of, um, of prorogation, I knew that there would be an opportunity for all of us to uh, cool down, um, enjoy whatever benefits might be had from a timeout, and an opportunity for this committee to resume, for these issues to be raised, for me to be here today and to appear before you. And I think we've enjoyed some success in, in renewing um, better relationships uh, inside the, the legislature. No, I did not know with any degree of certainty what the cost associated with uh, relocating uh, Mississauga might be. I did know that it would be a complicated issue. I knew that the best approach on our part would be to see if we might uh, negotiate a new contract in a new location as opposed to simply paying out an existing, as if seeing a 20 year contract in its, in its entirety. And I'm, and I'm very pleased that we were able to enter into that kind of a negotiation and that we end, uh, ended up with that kind of a result which minimized some of the consequences. Thank you. All the meetings in, against the plant happened in the communities long before the cancellation. Why did you wait? Mississauga, are you talking about? Uh, in Mississauga, yes. Uh, why did you wait until the last minute before the election, uh, before doing the right thing? If you, if you now, with, the, 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 uh, with hindsight, uh, if you now realize that it would have been the right thing to listen to the, the, the community, 
should have done Why it did you wait? You should have done it sooner. I should have done it sooner. You should have listened to the opposition members who said, do you yes, agree? You should have, you, you know, in hindsight, you should yeah. have listened to the opposition members who said, Mr. McGinty, Mr. Premier, you are making a massive mistake here. I you mean, are going, here's a, here's I, a question. This? But can I answer this? Because there's a number of questions oh, sure. there. You're right. All right. I should have canceled it sooner. And in fact, in June, I publicly mused, you, you may not recall, but in June, I publicly mused, as reported in the Toronto Star, as I recall, I said there's, it's never too, never too late to do the right thing. And uh, what I would, I'll tell you what I was struggling with. The fact was, I was struggling with reconciling the decision I made with respect to Oakville and the uh, proposed location of that plant and that Mississauga site. It was very difficult to distinguish the, fact, uh, the facts uh, one from the other. The, both were cases where residential communities were going to be made unwilling hosts to major gas plants in stressed air sheds near schools and hospitals and offices and homes. As Mr. Tabbins pointed out that the same scenario existed in Northern, Northern New York region, uh, but yet, uh, but yet, that that uh, your intervention didn't apply in that region. Quite conveniently, that region was held by a conservative well, uh, well. member of, uh, of parliament. So, I want to, you know, you, you're 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 saying that we were right. We were right in in counseling you to not build the plants in the first place. Yeah, we should have acted sooner. You obviously, during the context of the election campaign, would have been monitoring all party leaders all campaign promises throughout the, the campaign? I was fed information of that nature from time You've to time, indicated yes. that all parties agreed that you should cancel the gas plant. That's correct. You would have then saw, seen at that point that uh, our leader, Andrea Horvath, clearly stated that without knowing the full costing of canceling the gas plants, she could not commit to arbitrarily Canceling gas plants. You are fully aware of that, I would assume. No, I'm not. Why not? Well, I, I don't know. So, I'll, so, so but, you were but, monitoring party leaders, no, but you are being selective about what you want to apply no, to their to no, their campaign. What I was aware promises. was that there was there was um, strong um, opposition to the location of the plant in Mississauga initially, and that, that opposition and that opposition could be found in. Uh, among all political stripes, among all, all candidates. Um, you're telling me that Ms. Horvath had a, uh, um, a more nuanced position with respect to how this might... Um, it wasn't nuanced. I mean, it, well, it was, it was I, quite... Well, it was I'll, very quite... Yeah, but I'll, I'll quite accept clear. that. I'll accept that. But uh, I understand that. Um, she made her call. I made my call. Right? My call was, it's wrong to put that plant in that community. They're Your call to, was cancellation without... Any information? Be, your be, your call. Your call was cancellation at all and any costs. Am I correct? No. I well, knew, you didn't know. I, I knew there was not going to be at all and any cost. We were going to work as. So hard there was a put. threshold. Was there a threshold we're that you weren't as, prepared to cross? We were going to work as hard as we could to minimize those costs. Had you identified a top end margin for cancellation costs that you weren't ready to to cross? We 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 spent a lot of time in this committee talking about those costs, but I think. Parents attach a pretty high price to the health and well-being of their children. <clears throat> now, I, I hear some mutterings and musing there is that, that that is not that's not easily quantifiable and not worthy, perhaps, of our consideration. Yeah. Um, but I think it's important for all of us to take into account. I so think yes, parents, there are costs, as a parent, there are parents, costs associated with relocating these plants, and we've got to offset those against the right of families in those two communities. And going forward, because this is bigger than just Oakville and Mississauga, going forward, we're now saying, and I'm pleased with the announcement made by the Minister of Energy just yesterday, Quite going timely. forward, we're now saying that we are not going to do this kind of thing. We're not going to wrongly locate these kinds of plants in those communities, not in that way, shape, or form, ever again. Mr. McGinty, I, uh, I agree that parents want the best for their children, but what parents want from their leadership is just that leadership that has foresight, leadership that understands that governments shouldn't put their communities in economic or environmental peril. And uh, your lack of um, uh, concern initially for in, within the siting of those plants is a failure in leadership from the outset. It's a failure in listening to the opposition members who quite clearly indicated that you were making a mistake. But you decided, your government decided, along with uh, ministries,
that were applicable, decided to boldly charge into the unknown and it has cost us Thank you, Mr. Uh, to the government side, Mr.